What first impressions did you have of me when you first met me? Very um, delicate, pretty. I thought you were attractive. I thought you had um, good teeth. You got very nice lips. I thought you were really beautiful. I thought you were lovely. I, all I could see was this great big smile and these amazing blue eyes. I was just like, wow, she's stunning. And you were so bouncy and bubbly and chatty and just made me feel really kind of at home. And what did they think of when I first met you? Confident but not pain in the arse. Very bright, enthusiastic person. Open, light, bubbly, very feminine and very, very energetic. Lively, bubbly, confident and extremely smiley and very friendly. Affable, friendly, um, easy going. My first impression of you when I first met you, I think, ah, that's a very interesting young woman, or well, this person can go very far. <laughs> the first time I saw you was on stage, and you, you were very sociable with the audience, and you made us all feel very welcome. I have a real thing for Sally Whitman. I think if a girl's got a good sense of humour and a smile and doesn't get all offended at words like really and bum, then that's just the most adorable thing on earth. Very ambitious, very inspiring, and doesn't let the fact that what she's doing is impossible stop her from doing it anyway. <laughs> I met you for the first time in a uh, you were flyering in a in a queue at Edinburgh. You just came up and spoke to me in a way that was very beautiful. You didn't just shove a flyer up my nose, and it tends to be the, the style in Edinburgh during busy times. But it was it was almost as if you cared. <laughs> One of the things that always strikes me about you is the fact that you care so much about everybody else. Um, unlike so many people, when you actually ask someone how they're feeling, you really mean it. You can have big ideas, you can have wonderful dreams and stuff, but following through is the, is the thing that makes the difference. So the things that you're doing actually make a difference to other people. The message that you're taking them, I think, is really important. I thought you were very, 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 very talented, vulnerable, you let people know straight away this is who I am and... I think someone who's prepared to be very honest and perhaps is still struggling with that in themselves. I see a riddle wrapped inside an enigma wrapped inside pastry. When I first met you, very nice, friendly, attractive, intelligent. Although when you told me that you were a mental health survivor, I did a quick mental reassessment. It was interesting. Can I see anything? Can I see the madness? It's that our cultural uh, stance is a not a fixed thing. With every new bit of input, our cultural understanding of the world slightly shifts imperceptibly, and it does with every new piece of information you get about other people. Uh, well, I even asked you as a follow-up about um, being sectioned. The, the yeah. sectioning bit is a big thing for me. The only person who is a, a world expert in Juliet is Juliet, and so so whoever else is forming an opinion of Juliet. Uh, is suffering from uh, the lack of all of the information.